Hello, hello, hello. Hello, everyone. Okay, so what I am doing right now, I decided to come out and see what kind of starts uh, are available. It's um, Good Friday, the Friday before Easter. So just wanted to come and check out. I'm here at Lowe's trying to check out what starts they have available. They got some pretty good, pretty good looking stuff here. So I wanted to come and take you with me to show you what you can get out there and buy. If you have not started any seeds yet, no excuse. You have just about everything you need right here. Peppers, bell peppers, you know, this is actually the pepper section. You've got cucumbers. This one here is the uh, Heirloom Boston, Boston Pickling Cucumber. Zucchini squash, cantaloupes. You got a whole bunch of stuff here. Okay. You've got the uh, burpless bush right there. Bush cucumber. Let's see. Come now, here's the crook neck squash. Yeah. Got tons of stuff. Sweet banana peppers. So no excuse, family. No excuse. Look, they've got a good price going. Three for twelve dollars on this side. This is your gypsy sweet pepper. Okay. Looks like the yellow bell pepper has been bought out. They do have the uh, green pepper there, three for twelve dollars. Okay, so we're gonna keep moving along and see what else they got. Here's the cow horn pepper. Those are good peppers. I like to make hot sauce, so I do a mixture of the uh, cow horn. The jalapeno hot pepper, the serrano, and the Tabasco hot pepper. I typically do a mix with all those to make a good old hot sauce. But yeah, they have so much out here right now. And it's a beautiful day. Uh, it's about 72 degrees and it's supposed to get up to about 75 degrees today there's your uh, cayenne pepper another good one but yeah again this is the pepper side keep moving around like I said you know no excuse there are absolutely no excuses to not get a garden going if you didn't start from seed you can come out and get you some starters some starter plants the sweet 100 tomato those are awesome and this is tomato side there's the husky husky cherry tomatoes okay so um We've got quite a few items here that we can uh, definitely get the garden going with. All right, family. So uh, we're looking at the tomato section of uh, this side. We're going to keep moving. I want to show you a, a whole lot more that they have available as starters out here. right we've got the uh, better boy hybrid tomatoes lemon boy here's your 
San Marzano tomato. Those are good for making paste, tomato sauces and so forth. Your Romano, that's an awesome one for sauces. Okay. No excuses. You're going to keep hearing me say that. No excuses. You didn't start your seeds. You can come out and get starters. Put them in pots. If you live in an apartment, don't have a, a yard or land to do it, put them in pots. Okay. Let's keep moving along gonna take a look here I'm gonna take a pause real quick and be right back to all right we're back so all right now we are in the uh, green leafy vegetable section as what I would call it you've got your Swiss chard here beautiful let me get a better shot of that for you there we go beautiful Swiss chard and then they've got strawberries too. More squash. And for those who um, like to grow corn, you've got your peaches and cream selection. You know, I have grown this before. I've grown the peaches and cream before and it's amazing. You have to keep the birds off it though. They love it. Yeah. That peaches and cream. Peaches and cream. If you can get it to <laughs> not be attacked by the critters, you'd have a nice, a nice sweet corn there. I like to fry mine up in a little onions and some bell peppers. But yeah, there you go. More cucumbers. All right. More peppers. Okay, I'm gonna keep moving around. All right, here we go, sweet potatoes. We got the sweet potato slips. There you go. You can grow potatoes in a in a container, family. Get you some sweet potato slips, plant them in a container. Well, I don't know so much about sweet potatoes because they kind of vine up. They're a little bit different, but your red potatoes, your Idaho potatoes, definitely container action. Definitely container action with those types. But your sweet potatoes, yeah. I think I've heard some folks say they tried growing them in a pot, but I don't see, you know, I, don't, I didn't really keep up with how successful that was. Again, they like to vine up and as they vine, they create more potatoes. There you go. Let's keep moving around. Just lovely herbs. You've got your sweet basil, your sweet stevia plants there. Yep, this is actually a trio here. The chef's trio basil. You've got your purple basil and your sweet basil and you have the uh, spicy basil in there, I believe. Okay. And again, the, the, the stevia, the sweet stevia plant, okay? All right, and there we have it. More tomatoes. spare brock is what this is that's your broccoli that uh, grows almost like asparagus I've grown that before as well and it's really good really good there's a shot of what it looks like on that picture yeah that's some good 
some good broccoli. Yeah, they are packed out right now. Golden sage or garden sage, pardon me. Parsley. So we're getting into the herb section. You got your German thyme. English thyme right there. And German again. Pineapple sage. Yeah. So that's the herb section. Let's come on around. Okay. And this wall here is just strictly herbs. You've got rosemary. Yeah. Strictly herbs here. And it looks like it's primarily rosemary. Here's a little bit of lavender. Aloe plants. More rosemary. And sweet basil. And they have a few chives as well. Yeah, so they kind of stocked up good right now. There's some Greek oregano. Yeah. Good, good, good. So I'm going to go ahead and do some shopping of my own and check a few things out. But again, for those who have been a little slow with getting the seeds started, or not at all no excuse none whatsoever because you can certainly go and get starters you can get your starters and get your food growing family okay i'm showing you here the uh blackberry vines that they have and also, if you want to start uh, a, a fig tree, they do have fig trees, starter plants right here. Okay. More blackberries down there. And grape vines here. These are your grape vines. Yep. Okay. So I just wanted to bring you on this little quick field trip that I did out here to uh, Lowe's. I wanted to see what they had available right now, especially with it being Good Friday today. It's very nice outside. And wanted to show you what you can do to get you some food growing. Uh, never fear if you have not started anything from seed look Lowe's got you taken care of I'm sure Home Depot does as well and you can get your food going from starts okay all right so let's do this family no excuses all right check y'all later peace <laughs>